getting started with web development. I'm going to make a website here. Um, I'm in a folder called web development. I'm going to make a new folder for my new website, which is going to be called Pokemon. Uh, you need a new folder every time you make a new website, just to keep things neat and tidy, keep uh, se websites separate from each other. In this website, I'm going to make an HTML, and in this folder, I'm going to make an HTML file, um, which is going to be a new text document, which comes up as new text document.txt, and I'm going to call it index.html. I get the message, do you want to change the file name extension? That's what I'm doing. I was changing the .txt to .html, so I'll say yes, I want to change it, and you can see that the uh, icon it should have changed to Chrome not quite sure why it's not associated it does say Chrome HTML document when I hover over it anyway um, if you don't get that .txt to change you need to go to this view tab and click on file name extensions like I've ticked here and that will turn that .txt from being hidden to being visible uh, you can use a variety of text editors the one we prefer to use in class is notepad plus plus I have nothing here at the moment. I'm just going to um, paste in, which I happen to have in my clipboard, a whole bunch of text. And I'm going to control S to save that. Now, if I double click the file, I'm hoping, oh yeah, this, this changed the icon now. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And what I have is a web page, uh, kind of. It's a lot of very unformatted text, no paragraphs, no headings, no nothing. Uh, but you get the idea, I've now got um, a text file here, which is my, um, which is viewable in the browser. You know, I'm very cunningly going to have them open side by side here, so because it's much easier, because these, these are the two I'm going to work with, and if I have one behind the other, it becomes a pain. So I'm going to just throw in a few tags, just to get things started. Um, heading tag, so h1 is the opening of that heading tag forward slash h1. So everything between h1 and forward slash h1 now is um, a heading 1. Control S over here, refresh, heading 1. That's what that looks like. I'm going to make this a paragraph, so P, and right at the end of the line, I don't have end on this keyboard, there you go, end of the line, forward slash P. And uh, let's see what that looks like. Control S and refresh. Yep, that's now that one line has been turned into a paragraph. Uh, I can do that with these ones. If I'm cunning, I'll do a little bit of copy paste. Control C and Control V and Control V. I'm just going to do a few of these other ones as well as we go down here. Control V, Control V, Control V. And at the end of each of these lines, I'm going to put a forward slash P. So you see this all the time with um, with HTML. We open tags and we close tags. Open P, close forward slash P in this case. So Control C, and oh, that one's already done. That one is Control V. In theory, paragraphs are one of the only tags that doesn't need to be closed but just for neatness sake and to kind of prove a point um, we're going to do this control v control s let's just see what that looks like now got a bunch of paragraphs now there was a place though that i thought i needed a heading or two so just a little bit of hierarchy headings h1 is the highest the biggest uh, i'm going to do this as an h2 so the next one down forward slash h2, get the idea, open close, uh, save that and see, we should see that it's, it's a heading, slightly smaller, and then I'm going to do the rest of them going down the page, are probably going to be h3s. Uh, this, I mean, this is pretty normal, isn't it, that you have uh, a main HUD heading and then subheadings uh, of different sizes, you just got to think ahead about what you want from that, forward slash h3. Control S, refresh. So there you go, headings and subheadings. And obviously, I still need to do some paragraphs and stuff. And I still need to do more headings. But I now have um, a bit more structure to my page. It looks pretty boring. It's black on white, default font, all that kind of stuff, no images. 
So that's what we'll get to in the next video.